the United States of America grapples with internal discord, fueled by diverse opinions and entrenched power dynamics. Despite its historical resilience, the nation's unity is tested by the clash of interests within its borders. Remarkably, the absence of a civil war thus far stands as a testament to its ability to navigate turbulent waters. However, recent developments along the Texas border serve as a stark reminder of simmering tensions, highlighting the fragility of the nation's unity. The contentious relationship between the Biden administration and Texas has escalated, primarily over immigration policy disagreements. At the heart of this dispute lies the issue of border security, with Texas asserting that the federal government has failed to address illegal immigration adequately. This sentiment is particularly pronounced along the Texas-Mexico border, where the influx of migrants strains local resources and raises security concerns. One significant flashpoint in this ongoing saga is Shelby Park, a serene enclave nestled along the Rio Grande in Eagle Pass, Texas. Once a tranquil retreat, the park has become a symbol of the broader conflict between state and federal authorities. Texas officials, emboldened by Governor Greg Abbott's staunch opposition to federal immigration policies, have taken decisive action to assert control over the park, including erecting barriers to restrict access. The governor's unwavering stance has drawn the ire of the Biden administration, which views Texas's actions as an affront to federal authority. The ensuing legal battle over jurisdiction and control of Shelby Park underscores the deep-seated divisions within the nation and the delicate balance between state autonomy and federal oversight. Amidst the legal wrangling and political posturing, the plight of migrants caught in the crossfire remains a pressing concern. For many, Shelby Park represents a fleeting opportunity to escape poverty and persecution in search of a better life. However, their hopes are often dashed against the backdrop of escalating tensions and entrenched bureaucracy, leaving them stranded in a state of limbo. As the standoff between Texas and the federal government intensifies, the prospect of a peaceful resolution grows increasingly remote, casting a shadow of uncertainty over the future of the United States. The confrontation between Texas and the U.S. government concerning Shelby Park escalated significantly on Saturday, January 13, following a tragic incident near the border. Three migrants attempting to cross the Rio Grande from Mexico to the U.S. drowned, with their bodies recovered by Mexican authorities. This event triggered a heated exchange of accusations and denials between the two parties, each blaming the other for the migrants' deaths and the failure to prevent them. U.S. Representative Henry Cuellar, a Democrat representing the Texas border district encompassing Eagle Pass, was among the first to voice condemnation. He criticized Texas for obstructing Border Patrol agents' access to Shelby Park, hindering their ability to secure the border and prevent such tragedies. Cuellar labeled Texas's actions as irresponsible and reckless, endangering both migrants and agents. In response, the Texas Military Department, overseeing the state's border operation, refuted these claims, asserting that allegations of impeding Border Patrol agents' rescue efforts were unfounded. They contended that Border Patrol agents were informed by the state that Mexican authorities had already recovered two bodies when seeking access to the park. Additionally, they clarified that agents sought entry solely to pursue two other suspected migrants. On Monday, January 15, the Justice Department filed a document with the Supreme Court, accusing Texas of deceit and cover-up regarding the drownings. They argued that Border Patrol agents could have aided Mexican authorities in recovering the bodies and preventing further casualties had they been granted access to the park. The document also alleged that Texas violated federal law and the Constitution by interfering with border security and immigration enforcement. On Wednesday, January 17, Texas countered the U.S. government's claims and contested its authority over the border and the park. They challenged the narrative, stating that Border Patrol agents had largely withdrawn from the area over two months prior, failing to protect against illegal crossings and criminal activities. Texas maintained that it acted within its rights and responsibilities to defend against the invasion and harm of illegal immigration. President Joe Biden has been vocal in his criticism of the Texas governor's actions, deeming them unlawful and unconstitutional. He emphasized the federal government's exclusive jurisdiction over immigration and border security, asserting that Texas' interference undermines its efforts and authority. The dispute between Texas and the U.S. government continues, 
underscoring the complex interplay between federal and state powers in matters of immigration and border control. President Biden also contested and resisted the initiatives of the Texas governor, seeking to thwart them through legal and administrative channels. Now, nearly all Republican governors in the nation have signed a statement expressing their backing and unity with Texas Governor Greg Abbott and his endeavors to fortify the border and challenge the federal government. Issued on Thursday, January 25th, via the Republican Governors Association website, the statement rebuked the Biden administration, accusing it of neglecting its constitutional duties to both states and the nation. It asserted that Texas possessed the constitutional right and obligation to safeguard itself and its borders from the influx and harm of illegal immigration. Additionally, it commended Texas for employing various measures, including razor wire fences, to deter and prevent migrant crossing. The statement garnered signatures from 25 Republican governors, representing the majority of states in the country. They declared solidarity with Governor Greg Abbott and Texas, emphasizing the necessity to utilize all available tools, including razor wire fences, to secure the border due to the federal government's failure to fulfill its obligations. The following day, the White House addressed the governor's statement during a press briefing. White House Press Secretary Karin Jean-Pierre criticized the statement as unhelpful and unconstructive, urging governors to collaborate with the federal government and Congress to tackle border and immigration issues. She emphasized the importance of securing resources and solutions through congressional representatives to address the broken immigration system. Meanwhile, former President Donald Trump voiced his admiration and endorsement for Governor Abbott's resolute stance against the Biden administration's border control policies. Texas has refused federal intervention to remove razor wire installed in high-traffic migrant areas. This conflict is part of a broader feud over immigration between the two sides. Trump, in a speech focused on border security, expressed support for Texas, asserting that it deserves full backing in its efforts to deter migrants along the U.S.-Mexico border. He pledged to provide reinforcements instead of restraining orders if he were president, emphasizing the need to defend the United States from what he described as a horrible invasion. Trump delivered these remarks at a rally in Las Vegas, addressing supporters in a neighborhood with a significant Latino population, underscoring the intensity and complexity of the ongoing debate surrounding immigration and border control. What are your thoughts on this matter? Do you think that Governor Abbott is doing the right thing? Why? Share your opinions on the comment section below.